Dear friends, you are on the Eastern Front channel and today I have something special for you. We will talk about outstanding Russian pilot Alexander Pokryshkin. As you know, both the German and Soviet armies used captured weapons for their own purpose. Captured Soviet tanks German tankers didn't like. Since their own artillery men or aviation could open fire on them, the situation was different with captured Soviet aircraft. Today I will tell you about the cunning German ace, who used a captured Soviet aircraft to attack and destroy Soviet pilots, like a wolf in sheep's clothing. He didn't have to fly for long, since the command of the Red Army soon applied tactics that were crowned with success, and the captured aircraft was eliminated. During the period of a short lull, only one flight was remembered by me. Once Karayov called me aside and opening the map said, fly Pokryshkin at the head of the eight aircrafts. Our plane should be stationed at this airfield. We must burn it at all costs. One four will suppress anti-aircraft fire, the other will carry out the task. I got it to destroy the aircraft. I replied, all through such a task surprised me extremely. How could it be our new fighter at an enemy airfield? The commander unfortunately said nothing about this. Covering ourselves with clouds, our group cowardly approached the indicated point and flew straight to the airfield. But to my surprise, there were no planes on it at all. When I reported this to Krayov upon my return, he sadly remarked, have managed to hide devils. Now keep your eyes open, the Germans will try to use our vehicle against us. I took Krayov's message about fighters seriously. After all, I myself once flew a trophy Messerschmitt and tested it in action. On the same day or rather, in the evening at dinner, I finally find out how our plane fell into the hands of the enemy. This case is incredibly ridiculous and sad. Fighters flew from the Far East. Each group was led by a pilot who knew the frontline airfields. Not having richer stuff, one group fell into continuous low clouds and went off course. Noticing a large airfield below, the pilots mistook it for a stove and went to land. When the two planes had already landed, someone noticed a German car with a cross and soldiers at the airfield. Groups stopped landing and went back to their territory. The two, who had already sat down, also immediately noticed. They were in the clutches of the Nazis. One managed to take off and the second didn't. I imagined the state of this pilot. So strive to the front and immediately get captured. Will this aircraft appear on our front? Nobody knows. In the morning of the big offensive, I had to accompany bombers. I took my wingman's plane and alone provided direct cover for 18 bombers. By the way, on our channel you can watch an incredible video about a lone Russian bombers who was caught by two Messerschmitts. The crew thought that this is the end. Link for this story will be in the description under this video. The bombers reached their target and entered a combat course. I looked up and saw that Rychkalov was already fighting four Messers. One thing worried me, reinforcement could come to the enemy. But today there are so many Soviet planes in the sky. I guess that's the reason why they didn't get a lot of attention to our group. Having dropped bombs on the enemy headquarters, the bombers turned home. We walked straight into the sun. It huge, red, just rose above the ground. You can look at it, but don't stare at it. A single plane appeared in the sky. He quickly approached the bombers. It was not difficult for me to recognize the Russian fighter in him. In the first minutes, I was filled with the regret for him. Poor fellow, fought off his own group or lost a friend. But he immediately made me worry. Plane didn't want to join me, but slipped straight to the bombers. Descending, I went to cut him. He didn't change course. When we were at the same distance from the last bomber, the Soviet fighter fired a burst at it and soared up. Enemy fighters! The guest burned me. That one, trophy fighter. I could not longer intercept him. Richkalov, shoot down the plane! Shoot him down! I shouted in the microphone. 
For each call of these words were such a surprise that he didn't respond to my call. The fighter disappeared. The fired bomber followed the group normally. I walked over it and thought about this case. A few days ago he had already appeared in the air. We fought with the Messerschmitts who were covering a group of Junkers, circled under the very clouds. My teammate had just approached me, lagging behind the Fadev's 4. He flew right at me. I mine, I mine, I hastened to introduce myself to him. He was advancing. I turned my vehicle to show red stars on my plane. And that didn't affect him. Then I jerked abruptly to the side. The fighter slid past and shell casing fell down from him. He shot at me. At some distance from us, the Messerschmitts were walking and he leaned towards them. And then I had no doubt that we were attacked by a trophy fighter, which we had to destroy at the airfield. And now the second meeting. At the airfield it turned out that an air gunner had been wounded by a burst fired at the bomber. Who will burn this pirate plane and how? The fate of the enemy fighters was resolved in the sky of the Kuban. Here, in the area of the offensive, several hundred of our and German planes were gathering at the same time. The captured German pilots testified that at the end of May fresh selected units were transferred here from the Kharkov, in one battle which lasted about an hour. It was dismembered into small groups, growing, covering a huge area. 42 enemy aircraft were shot down. The enemy fighter was shot down here in this way. One day all our planes of this modification were forbidden to appear in the air, and he, being alone in the sky, was struck by the pilots of the neighboring regiment. This is how the cunning German ace found his grave in the Russian land. Dear friends, that's all for today. What do you think about this story? Maybe you know more similar cases? Share your opinion and leave comments under the video. And don't forget to put like. See you on the channel The Eastern Front and peace and love for you and your home.